In part one last Friday, Times Now questioned the huge transactions between Veer Badra Singh, Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh and a businessman who got a contract extension from the Himachal government. Tonight we have part two of Bribegate. We are getting you details of the transactions and how 60 lakh rupees were transferred a month before the contract was extended. But one more thing I'd like to say, Veer Badra Singh, watch out. We have part three of this expose coming up tomorrow. उन्हें मेरे से कौन सा बड़ा फेवर कर दिया मेरे को कौन सा फेवर किया कॉर्नर्ड नेल्ड एंड लेफ्ट टू फेंड फॉर हिमसेल्फ बट हिमाचल प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफरिंग अ वीक डिफेंस वीरभद्र सिंह अपीयर्स टू बी सिंकिंग डीपर इन द ब्राइब गेट क्विक सैंड फाइव डेज आफ्टर टाइम्स नाउ फर्स्ट रिवील डिटेल्स ऑफ एलिगेशन अगेंस्ट द कांग्रेस चीफ मिनिस्टर Your channel accesses more details exposing a series of financial transactions between Wakamulla, Veer Bhadra Singh and his wife Pratibha Singh. Showing how rupees 60 lakh was transferred to Chief Minister's wife just one month before extension of contract to Wakamulla's company. Times Road earlier accessed information and documents which showed that uh, Veer Bhadra Singh's family members had shares in companies owned by Wakamulla. Fresh documents with Times Now, the bank transaction details which I am holding up just now clearly show that one month prior to the uh, 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 prior to the extension expiring, an amount of 60.5 lakh was transferred from Vaka Mulla's account to Veer Bhadra's wife Pratibha Singh's account. Veer Bhadra is caught in a massive conflict of interest, and these contradictory versions by those in the centre of the controversy only adding to the Chief Minister's troubles. कि को मुझे एक एक बार धमक के साथ मैं मकसमल लग रहा था कोर्ट के अंदर मुझे बकिनों की फीस देनी थी दूसरी चीजें करनी थी मैंने जो है मिस्टर मैंने उनसे पस्तन लोन दिया मिस्टर वीर बद्र सिंह वन डे कॉल्ड मी एंड आस्क मी दैट ही वांट्स टू रेनोवेट हिज ओल्ड पैलेस इफ आई कैन एडवांस हिम एल लोन they have a old palace which they wanted to convert it convert it into a hotel then i said okay Opposition is gunning not just for Veer Bhadra Singh, but is now also stepping pressure on Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi. The more the Congress Party tries to shield and save Mr. Veer Bhadra Singh, the more the Congress Party will have egg on its face. His dubious financial dealings has left Congress on the back foot, and the party Vice President has conveniently chosen to turn a blind eye. But the longer Rahul Gandhi waits to act against Veer Bhadra, is he diluting his own credibility on corruption? And two weeks before being named Congress's prime ministerial candidate, can Rahul Gandhi turn a blind eye to nepotism and corruption? Bureau report, Times Now.